Hey Cupcakes, how's it going? Um, we're going to be doing our December monthly reset. Um, excuse my hair, it seems really frizzy. I just got out of the shower and tried to just let it do some air drying. So um, let's go ahead and reflect on last month. Um, so November was kind of funky. Uh, it was my birthday month and I took off the weekend before my birthday on the 12th. I also recorded the video about my birthday shenanigans of what we got up to, so I don't want to try to like keep repeating myself. If you want to see that video, I'll link it up there in the card. But um, pretty much my family came to see me the weekend before my birthday, and we went to a library book sale and a Christmas market expo and spent time with each other all day, and I even set money aside for my birthday plan. And then, um, so other than that, November kind of just went like real fast after like November 1st, it was just like leading up to my weekend with my parents and then that happened and then leading up to like my birthday and it happened and it was kind of lackluster for my birthday, not gonna lie. Um, my birthday, I worked, it was on a Thursday and, and then I got home and I'm thinking that I'll have just something little from him, but apparently it didn't come into the, in the mail yet. And, uh, so I was like, okay, and then so he made me dinner, and we watched uh, a movie of my choice together, and, you know, he rubbed my back, made me feel better, um, but he got me the Vox Machina Volume 3, uh, uh, Origins book that came out recently and it is like in this very beautiful cover and I didn't even know he got it for me and I was like baffled that he even got that for me because it was like super expensive but I'm like super grateful and I'm like oh my gosh babe and he, he gave it to me what day was that it was like it came in like right before Black Friday like it he ordered it like soon as it released to be able to pre-order it like came in like during the weekend of cyber Monday, Black Friday weekend, so I was like, oh my god. But just kind of like my birthday weekend, my birthday, and then Thanksgiving, and the rest of it was honestly just a blur. Like, I, I've i now, as of this day, I've been at my new job for two months, so it's mainly just like, if I wasn't doing something involved with family or, or any kind of like event thing, it was mainly I've been just trying to work and like do my very best at my job, which right now I'm doing really good, I in my opinion, I feel like. So let's go into the November, so I didn't write November goals for November technically, but they were honestly just October's goals. So do Bible study, uh, move your body, night routine eight hours, read mental fantasy, and get finances in order. So Bible study. I did a um, Bible group thing that we're doing in our Texas Planner Babe group. I've done it physically. I've been to the, the, the live chat the one time, but I found a uh, printout sheet that I want to try to make for like my, my new planner for next year that is really simple. It's like the date, the sermon, and what it was about. And y'all can see what I'm talking about, but, um, it's, it's hit or miss. I'm still sort of doing it and still sort of not doing it the way I really truly want to do it. So, uh, move your body. I have been still trying to, I'm trying to do like doing workouts, but then when I'm not doing workouts, like if I don't, if like, say like with my cycle, I, like, I don't want to try to do a lot of moving. So I try to do yoga. I'm doing real good about trying to do yoga at night because I also have on my app, the little Finch app with the little bird. Um, I try to do yoga like that at least every night with those and then it, it counts for my yoga. And then my exercise is really just doing five jumping jacks, five, um, five squats, and uh, it was five push-ups, but I cannot do a push-up for the life of me. So um, those got immediately took out. And then I was trying to do a walk in nature all the time. And honestly, the walk in nature, um, that is a good note for that. I have on here the notes of a thing I saw for um, on Pinterest that it was every day of the week was a certain thing. So Saturday is self-care, Sunday is meal prep, Monday is mother nature, which is walking in nature, 
Uh, Tuesday is tech free, Wednesday is breath work, Thursday is yoga, and Friday is mindfulness. So last week, I think it was, I actually went out in my backyard and just said, like, I'm going to go walking. And so I did 13 laps around my backyard, and I, it, like, felt really good. Like, I, I did it to where I did, like, four songs, and then I had, like, one more lap to do to finish a song up, or else I would have done it at 12, but I did it on lucky 13. So, but... Um, I'm going to try to keep doing that at least here at home, like on my days off, try to do the walk in the backyard and then try to on, because the mother nature here on the week thing works out for me for my job for Monday, because Monday's our days that it's like our Friday, we get off early, so I can go do like a walk after work and then like go home after I get done walking. Um, read mental and fantasy novel, I have stopped reading. I finished the one book I need to finish that I had like the 39 pages left to finish and I got it done and then I went to the library book sale and found the last book of that series I needed and it's sitting right over there with the whole stack of books that I got from that that I haven't even touched since I got them they've been just sitting there since I filmed that video um, so I need to start taking those books to work and read them when I have the time instead of being on my phone and get finances in order as I said at the beginning of all this just all about budget is I'm slowly getting it good I'm getting you know savings going and budgets going and goal settings for budgets for like our birthday plans and stuff like that so and then on the bucket list I had I think I wrote that on November's yes so I made it the bucket list at least for November so go to library bookstore I did do that eat Pumpkin pie, I did do that. Quick fudge, I made fudge for Thanksgiving. Let me get this other paper real quick. I made fudge for Thanksgiving. Um, it was a quick recipe that my mother gave me. That was um, just peanut butter and a, t a tub of icing. And you just melted both of them and then mixed them together and then let them chill and then that was it. It was really sweet. I personally, like... I would eat it. I feel like nobody else really would like it, but my aunt and my uncle and all the, like, women in my family decided to take some before I took it home because I, I didn't unwrap it, so then, like, I guess nobody really thought to touch it. I don't know the kids got a hold of some of, some of it and really liked it, but um, my aunt and all of them got some to, like, put with their coffee, and they really liked it, so that was a hit. Not to, you know, pat myself on the shoulder. Um, decorated for fall. Did do that. You all saw in the... Um, I remember what video that was I'll have to look back but uh I did the whole like little character stuff over there I need to do Christmas <laughs> we're a little behind um fall movie night we did watch some movies but I'm more excited for Christmas movies my favorite time if I could pick any time to watch movie themed movies it'd be for Christmas because Halloween eh, and November there's not really fall movies per se but Christmas, like the holiday with Cameron Diaz and Jude Law and Kate Winslet and Jack Black, perfection. Um, read a book. I did finish the one book, The Wicked Business. Um, make a no-so blanket. Did not do that. Uh, Fez of Hot Cocoa, still have not done that. So that both those things are going to go into December's. Uh, create Autumn Mood Board. Did do that. And then make a fall craft. I did not do that. So... Overall, though, I did do everything on my list besides the fall craft, and then the two things I could technically move to December. So, those are the goals and the bucket list items. And then I also started doing this, so the um, the quote that I got from the app that I've been using, the Fitch app. So, October's was from M. Scott Peck. Until you value yourself, you won't value your time. Until you value your time, you will not do anything with it. And then November's was from Rumi, R-U-M-I. Yesterday I was clever, so I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I am changing myself. So I really like these quotes I've been finding on this app. So I need to do my December one. But I love the December little like candy apples I have. I've already put in the birthdays. And then I need to do my important dates, my quote, and my goals and bucket list. So, technically, I needed to be doing this before this video, but needless to say, that was that. And then, so I did these little notes real quick. So, um, I was trying to go through other monthly resets to figure out what I wanted to do. So, I wanted to aesthetically have my stuff together for my video. Um, 
reflect on the previous month, make new goals for the month coming, budget with me, word of the month, which technically my word of the month was a thing I grabbed last night from other videos, but I like the quote thing that I'm doing that's more original for me, and it's from the app I use, so that was my quote for November. I need to do December's. Uh, most proud of, um, I'm proud that I got the um, money financially going through and getting like all the goal setting that I wanted to do for my birthday, my boyfriend's birthday, and all that kind of stuff, and it worked out. And then what challenged me was just, I'm not really sure what challenged me. Like I said, November is really a blur. Like, I got that video up, and then it just went, pfft, and then my birthday and all that stuff. Um, but I am most grateful for my family having the best time with me and my boyfriend, you know, making my birthday special, even though with the present being late and it's still coming in, it was like out of this world idea that I thought he would get that. And, um, thankfully that my job has been going well since I started. So, and then my video, my camera is about to die. So I'm going to try to get this through real quick and then we'll do the budget part. So my new goals is, uh, try new recipe, digital declutter, read every day keep budgets set, and then my social goals is I want to try to get 350 on YouTube and 900 on Instagram, and then I'm trying to still get into the groove of using Notion. A lot of people have been using it, but I got a template from a girl that I actually watched last night, and I have hers like on my Notion now, and I kind of tweaked it to fit for me, and it's still a work in progress, but um. Other than that, I want to try to do my habit tracking daily and do my expenses at the end of each week. I want to try to get some budget um, inserts for my new planner for next year for budgeting. There is these sheets I really wanted to get, but they were sold out. But it's um, weekly expenses, and it has just like your total of how much you spent in the, in the week by every day, which I really liked. And then do my monthly reflections at the end of the month every month. So, and then... I believe that is it. Um, I'm going to try to do in the new year. I might do a whole other video about this when I do the January monthly reset. But in January, I'm really excited to try to do one night out with friends um, and then do brunch or breakfast, meet up with friends, do a self care monthly day for myself, um, date night and movie night and doing volunteering at like my church or a pet shelter or a nursing home or anything like that kind of any kind of like charity volunteering work at least once a month so that is everything about that so now i'm going to try to go get my camera charged real quick and then we will try to show my budget for you guys all right guys so i don't know how well this is going to come out but this is my mint budget that i was telling you about so this is actually December's budget. So um, this is how it breaks it down by each type of category that I have. So my paycheck was, last check was 8-22-27. And so let's go back to November. So my paycheck altogether was sixteen fifty five. So I had $55 left over. And then I did my budget for my fuel. I did my budget for my rent. I had money left over 48 for fast food. I had six left for groceries. I had 40 left for restaurants. Um, my health insurance didn't come out because I switched health insurance at the end of the month. So technically it won't come out until December 9th. So that's why it says $0.41 left because it actually comes out this month. Um, and then electronic software was when I, I bought a game for Luke, the God of War game. And then it does all these extra categories. So rideshare was Luke's gas and, well, I kind of sped up past there. But it was showing how much um, I had left over for the money. And right now I have like a negative amount, but that's because uh, you'll see here like all the different things aren't budgeted yet. So like the fuel... Um, this was the thing I was talking about how, like, my mint does not, is not, like, real time, like, my bank, so it won't show everything. Okay, but I actually go back down here, but, yeah, 544 left, and I have, like, a negative 101 left. But, uh, I deleted that because it had my utility and my rent as the same thing, but it's supposed to be just rent. And then I just showed that, you know, so far, how much money I've put into each category. And as you see here, it says 71 for health insurance because it went up. 
So I have that budgeted ready to go when that comes out. And so I have 339 left, which see, now that I took, got rid of the one, it actually made it positive again. So, and then this is just showing you all that the transactions it does, um, it does like it would in a normal bank, but it's not real time. So some of these, like I've, I literally went Christmas shopping yesterday. Um, so that's not in there, but this is showing the goals that you can make. And this was my Luke's birthday plan goal and I made it. And then this is the front page. I don't really use it as much. I just mainly do the budgets and goals and transactions to make sure I get each transaction to go to its own category. Hey, Coach Hicks, just putting this clip in real quick to do an official outro for my um, December monthly reset. I know it's very uh, lengthy, but I uh, wanted to make sure that I got everything in there. So. Um, Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out when um, y'all do the likes, and even the comments help me out. I'm really um, thankful for all of you that have came along to the channel, and, and um, until the next video, next Tuesday, stay tuned. I will see you then. Be super cupcakes. Bye.